Are you ready? I am, if you are. Of course not, I'm never ready. You can't come walking in saying that! <laughs> Hold on, let me change the sound, they suck. Oh my god! <laughs> Chefical difficulties. Chefical. <laughs> Please hold oh, while we fix these. Do, 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 He's back. All right. What's up, <laughs> everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for stepping in. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Casa Hoods Cookie Show. I'm your host, Chef Hoods. Thank you once again for joining us. Appreciate all the love and support. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do help us grow. Hit the notification button, hit that bell, ding, ding, ding. Give us two big, big, big thumbs up, all right? Today we got something nice, something delicious for you guys. We got a nice Chilean sea bass right here. Look at that, beautiful. Chilean sea bass with some white beans and some sauteed greens. That's right. So check it out and let's go. Today's ingredients will be Chilean sea bass, sliced garlic, half a lemon, plum tomatoes, some butter, some thyme, some green olives that are pitted. We got some spinach, we got some canelli beans, and we have a nice Sauvignon Blanc to make our sauce with, all right? So these will be our ingredients for today. Now let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with a preheated pan, nice and hot, make sure it's hot so our fish won't stick to the bottom. We're gonna add a little bit of cooking oil. Use whatever you prefer, canola, olive oil. I like using canola because I have the higher t heat temperature. All right, so we're gonna let that heat up for a few moments. Now, let's season our fish. We're gonna season on top. And the reason I season so high is the fact that you can cover more ground. Instead of seasoning like this, you only get a little corner. But if you season high, you get a little bit of, cover more area on your protein. I'm gonna flip it around. Yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop skin side up first. So first you wanna check, you just wanna, if you hear that sizzle, then it's ready to go, all right? You're gonna have it on high heat, and then we're gonna turn it down slightly so we don't burn our fish. Just move it around, so we get nice covered oil, all right? We're gonna leave it like that for 30 seconds, then I'm turning the heat down so you get a nice, beautiful, Caramelization on there, nice and brown, golden brown, looks nice and beautiful. So we see our pan smoker, we're gonna turn down our heat. So we're just gonna check it. You see a nice brown, golden caramelization, so we're gonna turn our heat down. Look how beautiful that looks, all right? We're gonna flip it in about a minute. All right, guys, once you start getting that nice brown caramelization, look at that, how beautiful that looks, all right? We're gonna flip over, we're gonna cook for another two to three minutes on that side, so we get nice medium well. While we got that going, we're gonna start preheating our pan for our beans and for our spinach. Now we're gonna add oil to our next pan. Get it nice and hot, heat it for a few moments. While that's going, we're gonna bring our ingredients over here. We're gonna add two tablespoons of butter. Actually, is that three tablespoons of butter? This is gonna help cook our fish a little faster and give it lots of flavor, All right? Nice butter, nice richness, All right? So we're gonna start doing that and we're gonna baste in a few minutes once all the butter is melted. So let's start here. We have our oil. Let's add with our garlic. Get that little nice lightly brown. Little brown color. Mmm. The aromatic right off the bat, you can smell the garlic, smells delicious. We'll take three stems. Off the thyme leaf. It's gonna pop, but it's gonna give a nice flavor, nice aromatic to our dish. All right. As you see, garlic is getting nice brown. We're gonna add our tomatoes. Get a little beautiful sear on there. So we're gonna cook these down for about a minute. All right, guys. While that's cooking. We're gonna baste our fish. And what I mean basting, basically we're gonna take some of this butter, 
Everybody's gonna just pour it on top of the fish, all right? Just base on top of the fish. Oops, move that baby over here. And this is gonna help it cook a lot faster. And it's gonna penetrate. And it's gonna give a nice, beautiful flavor. Just be careful because the fish is very delicate, right? So right now we're about a medium on the fish, so we're gonna let that slowly cook while we get everything else. All right, guys. So our fish is about 60% done. We're gonna take it off the stove for the moment, so we can just carry over cooking. It's gonna keep cooking for about five minutes still, even though it's off the flame or off the heat. All right. So now we got our tomatoes, and you can see here, nice little uh, colorization on them. We're gonna add our beans. I'm gonna switch that around a little bit. Give that about 30 seconds. All right, so we got about 45 seconds that gone past. We're gonna add our white wine and we're gonna let that cook down a bit, let all the alcohol content exit out of there. And then we're gonna add our nice green olives. All right, and then we're gonna wait for our spinach to the end because it will, will fast and then we don't want it that like that, all right? So our beans are almost done. We're gonna put our fish back on and we're gonna turn up the heat a little bit. Now we're gonna add our butter. I'm just gonna swish that around, nice and melted. And I have not forgot, we're still gonna season this baby once they add our spinach in there. All right. Look at that, oh, it smells delicious. It smells like thyme, it smells like garlic. All right, now let's add our spinach. Some salt, season to taste. Everybody has a little different taste buds. Some black pepper. And we're just gonna don't try this at home. Well you can, this is with no practice, you know. Alright, so this will be done in 30 seconds. And we're just gonna hit it with some nice lemon juice. A little bit of citrus in there. All right, so we got our fish going back again. We're gonna start basting. Be careful not to break it. It's very sensitive. Get some of this baby over here. Come on, butter, calm down. Calm down. So you just pour it on top. Pour it on top, nice and beautiful. Look at that. How's that look? Delicious. I mean, I can see it. I know you can see it. How's it look? Delicious. Delicious, I know it does. Can't wait to bite into it. All right, give it another 30 seconds and we're gonna take it off, all right? So our beans are almost done. Delicious! <laughs> <laughs> all right guys, so it's about 30 seconds. Be very careful with the fish. So we're gonna take it down, we're gonna put it on a paper napkin. So we're gonna get all that excess butter. Look at that, beautiful. All right, now let's start plating. We're gonna take some of our beans. Bean puree right there. We're gonna take a nice fish. Use this baby right here. Beautiful. Let's I have a napkin right here. Let's wipe the hands. We're gonna garnish it with some microgreens. Beautiful. People tend to eat my food because of the garnish, just to let you know. Shout out to Chef Richard out there in Fairview, my guy. Ya sabes, compa. Puro love, right? So here we go guys. We got a nice sea bass, beans, some spinach. Beautiful. Favorite part of the show. What is it? The taste test. Taste test, that's right, baby. Uh uh uh. So let's do this. Alright, we got some salt and greens. We got some beans. Get a little bit of bite of all that. Mmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That is good. The richness from the fish, look at that, how beautiful that is. Mm, 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 mm. So soft and buttery and rich. And you can really taste the citrus with the beans and the spinach, especially the olives when you just take that bite. Mm, 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 mm. Just love the citrus from the lemon, the butterness from the fish, nice and fluffy and flaky, beautiful. Mm. Let me just chew. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
please please try this recipe let me know how you like it comment down below follow us you know all that good stuff very delicious i guarantee you will enjoy it once again i am chef hoods this is casa de hoods make sure you follow us on all our social medias instagram youtube twitter all that good stuff hit the bell ding 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 give us two big big thumbs up all right and once again thank you for all love and support casa de hoods we out Today's ingredients will be, we have a nice Chilean sea bass. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Power Rangers? <laughs>